Listen. Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today Listen, we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Now we've had well, a bad couple of days. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, <laughs> and salutations today. Saving... Saddle up, cowboy, because <laughs> it's time to ride. If you and Let's Dutch get to it. Talk about how we're going to get out of this. How this Red this Dead Redemption 2 Strauss, when the was headed up the river. has been released For all we know, and is available to play. And, never back. and you wouldn't leave. I'm Not here like to tell you uh, about how it feels, at least in the beginning of the game. So you play as an outlaw who are running away from the Pinkertons, which I believe are bounty hunters. So your gang is on the run from the get-go. Hey, I see some smoke. But where on, you go from there is let's up to you more boys. at well, many points during the game, you will have a choice seems to choose messed. to be the bad guy or Recently. to choose to be the good guy. And there are consequences and for both. That way. Sure, well, come on there. You can choose to leave There's someone some alone, to the river. let them live. Yeah. But that could haunt you down the road because they could come back with a posse. They could come back with their gang See, or whatever and try to take you out. You think it's so sometimes you can feel me. like no good deed goes sure, unpunished. Could be On the other hand, you could take everyone out so, or a lot of guys out or a certain person there, out. Javier. And then you have to deal with the consequences of that. People will look at you a little bit differently. They're the the person's family or friends that you killed could come after you because you killed their husband or friend or cousin or whatever, and they're gonna come after you. So you. Could, <laughs> So but you might get punished for that, too. Like so you can decide what type of outlaw you are. You can decide to be the good outlaw that has turned a new leaf. You can decide to be the dirty, rotten scoundrel of an outlaw that just takes everyone out. And there's lots of things to do. There's upgrades, there's weapons, there's uh, horses. The horse that you have, you bond with the horse. The more you bond with the horse, the more the horse will trust you. And when you get into more dangerous situations, the horse will trust you in those situations and not try to uh, knock you off or run away. So the more of a bond you have with a horse, the better rapport you have with it, the more that the horse is going to trust you in more dangerous situations, whether it's wild animals or bandits or uh, bounty hunters. And I hope you do bond with the horse because you are going to spend a lot of time on the horse. Partially that's because the map of the game is quite large. So you do need some means of transportation to get around from point A to point B. Additionally, there's a lot of things that you can still do while on your horse. If you are battling Maybe we'll pick up the wild again. animals like wolves, or if you're battling bandits or the law, you can use your sidearm while you're on the horse. And speaking of wolves, there is hunting in the game. So there's pelts and there's things that you can get uh, for your band of outlaws that will improve their way of life and improve their survivability and then you can also use it to get money John was riding that horse and the money will help boy. you get better weapons let's see if he can hear us or more supplies <laughs> so depending on how you play and how you want to play will determine what you do and how you do it 
but more than likely you're going to spend a lot of time on that horse. So get used to the controls How's Davey doing? because you're going to be on that horse a whole lot. Nor did little Jenny. Now is it fun? Too bad. The game Davey was a real fighter. has Both potential to be a lot of fun. Uh, partially, yeah. you will need to and have Sean, uh, you know an interest in you know the cowboys, the old west, animals. that lawless time, or the end rest. of the lawless I time. Slept in three days. You're over and here. you'll have to fight show you the way. these Mr. Morgan, open world style adventures. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Where there are Mr. Bell, you're things with the to do. Over there. There's side missions what? and main now, missions. How come Arthur and, gets a room and I get a bunk and just next fooling to around. Bill so kind of, of the uh, GTA get of the old to west. Man. We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. So you can go through and just oh. stroll around hey. on your horse. You need horses. And if oh, that's yeah. all you want to do. That's what you can do. Get yourself indoors. If you want to go hunting, you can do that. You can just go around and go hunting different animals or a specific type of animal. If you want to do the main campaign, you can do that. If you want to try to get better weapons, you can do that. You can go and do you know, side missions, you can do main missions, you can do things that'll get you some currency and then take that currency and get more weapons and better weapons. So the game has a lot of potential to be fun. I don't think it'll be fun for everyone. People that like uh, a more linear experience probably won't like this as much as people I mean, that like that open world uh, RPG style iron, game but that ain't changing because I feel that the game is very immersive snowstorm. please go take a I look feel that there is a Have lot you? of potential yes. a lot of fun Have to be had in the game ride out with Arthur <clears> and some of that is going to be tied to online multiplayer you come with us some people like to go into the it's, online multiplayer it's okay. and, you know, just go around man, man. taking everyone out. Some people yeah, like to go on the online multiplayer it's and okay. just kind of poke yeah. around and see what there is to Get do on. and what there is to we'll see. Keep you safe until you figure out what you want so to do. depending on what type of session What's that you are in will Bridge determine Take it easy. how much fun that you can have and what you're trying to get out of it. So if you're wanting to do Gentlemen, Red Dead Redemption 2 found anything? and play it as I think a so. simulation, found a little homestead Old West down simulator, okay. um, I think you'll have a pretty good time if you're looking at it to be a GTA style game. Uh, you may be disappointed. There are some elements that share themselves between the two games. But it's not exactly the same, so the difference is maybe a deal breaker for you. All in all, if you have any interest in it, it is worth checking out. And there is potential to have fun. Like I said, if you're looking for a more linear experience, where you go point A to point B, and then point C, and then D, and then down the line until you're done, this may not Come be the on, game for you. You go. can do that, sure but you have to be a little bit more Dutch. focused on the we goals, uh, whereas some other games to to kind of guide you along the path to where you're supposed to go. This is a little like bit more now. open, oh, where you don't feel as pressured now, to go to those next points to progress the story. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to ring the bell before you leave to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Homestead, but we weren't the first. Oh, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't? 
argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Oh, I'm sure you did. Oh. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. John! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Some help! We need some help here! Come on, help him down. 